Yo, what up guys, welcome to your one-stop shop. For Cops, this is Kevin, and today we have the Reebok Awards of 2016. Which shoes won the awards and which shoes didn't. And I'm really surprised with some of these, but I hope you guys have voted. Um, so these results are actually from Team Reebok 1895, which is pretty much the premier uh, social media for uh, Reebok, sneaker news, and other knowledge on Instagram. And you can just follow them at Team Reebok 1895 if you want. I know that's where I got this list from. And although this video is not sponsored by them, you know, they're a really cool resource to have on Instagram if you want to look at shoes all day. Let's get into it. First, we have the best Pump Fury of the year, which goes to the Concepts CC pack. It's the pack that celebrated their celebrated their 20th anniversary and it's pretty much silver all over and there was a black shoe too but this silver shoe uh, won the award itself and it had a lot of likes on Team Reebok 1895 and that's because of the premium materials as well as the really great collaboration they had with Concepts and the premium leather liner that they had on the shoe. This Insta Pump Fury really reflected well on Reebok and Concepts as a whole and I think they did really well with this collaboration, so congrats to them. And next up is the number one pump of 2016. That was the Shack Attack Hall of Fame pack. And that was <laughs> that was in addition to Allen Iverson who also had his own shoe uh, for the Hall of Fame pack. But Shaq wins on this one because he's his had the pump technology. So as you know that uh, Reebok had uh, two athletes who entered into the Hall of Fame this year. It was Shaquille O'Neal and Allen Iverson. And Shaquille O'Neal had this really nice metallic silver shoe that won the award this year. And congratulations to them for winning this award. The number one shoe that was an OG but then received the retro treatment this year had to definitely be the uh, Alien Stomper Ripley. That, that was in the movie Aliens and it was actually released on Alien Day which I believe was on April 26th and it was just a really nice high cut shoe that was uh, that was released and I think it really reflected on the nostalgia that people had about this movie and I really think that this was a really classic shoe for many people who love Reebok and love the movie Aliens. number one runner of this year had to go to the collaboration between Extra Butter and the Ventilator Supreme. And that was called the Dynasty. It was representing the New York Islanders. And they're, they have like similar colors to the uh, New York Nets, you know, with the orange, blue, and white. They have uh, their championship years on the back with 80 and 81, I believe. And it was a really clean colorway in my opinion. You can't really go wrong with blue and orange as your colors. And this I know that on eBay this shoe goes for like hundreds of dollars more than like what it released for and that's for a good reason because this was such a clean colorway and such a good combination and the concept was really amazing. The number one rapper collaboration of this year should come as no surprise to anyone as it was Kendrick Lamar's classic leather collaboration, The Neutral. It was one of Kendrick Lamar's many collaborations this year, which was the neutral collaboration with red and blue. Everyone loves that collaboration and they go for like hundreds and hundreds on eBay. This was a really original collaboration, red and blue. The concept was very original and so many people are so proud of Reebok for letting Kendrick Lamar really do his thing with this shoe and really represent where he comes from and what his music stands for in this one. So uh, just peep the pictures, it's a really nice collaboration. I hope you guys have heard of it before because this is probably, in my opinion, the best collaboration of this year, but we'll see uh, at the end which one got the best shoe of this year. The number one collaboration with the question mid had to be the Bape and Meta collaboration at the end of the year. It had all of the camo that you wanted and it was just a great collaboration and people really went hype beast for this shoe. I'm actually surprised that this shoe won number one because personally my favorite was the Tiana Taylor collaboration. Uh, you know, pretty much the red upper with the blue icy sole. It was a really nice collaboration and I'm surprised it wasn't even in the running. But 
you know, props to Team Reebok 1895. They're doing their thing. And in that case, with the four shoes that they voted from, that was uh, the shoe that won it. So congratulations to Bape and Mida. The number one court shoe of this year had to be Burn Rubber and their collaboration with the Phase 1 Pro. And that was the uh, pretty much the notorious B.I.G. inspired shoe. It had the pink alligator skin type of leather on top. And uh, it was really nice and all pink. I really considered getting this shoe just for kicks. You know, for kicks. <laughs> but, and jokes aside, jokes aside, this was a really nice collaboration. It was really nice materials as well. And I was really inspired by this shoe to like think outside the box, you know. Notorious B.I.G. with his pink this year, as well as uh, Cameron and his pink of this year. And with that, the number one court shoe goes to the Phase 1 Pro. Now with the best shoe of 2016, I hate to say it, but I love to say it, you know, uh, it's the Bape and Mida collaboration with the Question Mid. That was what people voted for, and that's what we have here. So, uh, you know, you can check uh, Team Reebok 1895's Instagram for all these results. You know, uh, I, it wasn't my favorite shoe, but I really like what Team Reebok did at the end of this year, really voting these shoes in. And don't forget to tell me what you guys think about what your favorite shoe is from this year. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And uh, we're growing every day. Thank you so much for watching your one-stop shop for cops.